Hey guys, welcome back. Or if you're new here, hello. I'm Maggie with Extraordinarily Nice. And today we're doing another episode of Maggie Tries DIY. This episode is a borderline fail. We're going to be making a polymer clay planter. And I will tell you what I did wrong or like attempted to do along the way. And uh, you can see for yourself how it turned out. So start off by grabbing a bit of polymer clay and kneading it. You want to knead it for about two minutes. So I fast forwarded and skipped all this part because it took, well, a couple minutes. So I have no idea what I'm doing. Here I'm trying to make a log and then roll it out, but I realized that my rolling pin was way too big, so I grabbed one of my Morphe blending brushes. <laughs> no judgment zone, <laughs> use whatever you've got. I have about 15 minutes of footage of just me rolling out clay. This DIY was so intricate and I think where I went wrong with all of this is that I didn't actually have like a tutorial or anything I was following. I was making it up. I was like, oh yeah, I could do this. I can roll out some clay and bake it. Oh, okay. Sure you can, Maggie. This piece of clay, by the way, is going to be your sides. I intended it originally to be my sides and my bottom, but I ran into some problems and you'll see. I had to reevaluate. Now I'm cutting out the five pieces, so the four sides and the bottom. And all I did was measure, figured out how big I wanted my planter to be, which it got progressively smaller as I went because it got harder and harder to work with the clay. And then I just measured them out so that way they were even. And I still thought I could make the bottom work. I mean, I was wrong, but I still thought I could, so I was trying to. And you'll see, assembly did not go as I anticipated. Even sped up smoothing the seams takes forever. And I did a terrible job at it. It's not like I took forever and it came out looking like something you would buy at Hobby Lobby. No took forever and it looked like something your kindergartner made you in art class. Here I am still trying to make this bottom piece work. Like maybe if I roll it some more. All right, so I added some more clay to make the bottom piece a lot thicker. And then I tried rolling it into a snake. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Eventually though, I got it there. I rolled it out into a bigger piece and then I cut around the edges and then attached it using this little baller tool that I really thought I needed, but I think it's for someone who's way more advanced than me, so. Eventually though, I realized that I didn't know what I was doing when it came to that tool and it was time to start using my fingers. They worked okay. I mean, it was okay. Oh my gosh, guys, then I got this genius idea to use a ball of foil. And I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna help it retain its shape. Like, no, no, your clay is going to adhere to the foil and you're gonna jack up your entire project.
All right, and then I grabbed a bit of black clay and kneaded it up, and I rolled it out again for about 32 years to try and make it thin enough to cut a heart shape out of. Then I cleaned up the heart edges using my X-Acto knife. It really comes in handy here, so make sure if you are gonna try some kind of clay DIY, even if you don't know what you're doing, make sure you have an X-Acto knife or some type of razor. You guys then, I had this ingenious idea to use a toothbrush, obviously a crafting toothbrush, to texturize to make it look intentional that it was so poorly done. When it comes to actually adhering the heart, again, I have no idea what I'm doing. I texturized the clay a little bit and then I tried to use this baller tool to like blend the edges but it got super messy super quick so I used a little bit of white clay to kind of clean up the edges and you'll see when you see my finished product you'll see that I missed some of the edges but overall this worked I guess. Again I added more texture I went over the lines I made with the baller tool with the toothbrush to kind of smudge them out. And then pop this in the oven and bake it according to the directions on your clay package. And really it didn't turn out too terrible. I mean it's not great. Not like something that you're gonna go run out and buy but it's pretty stinking cute. And that's everything for today's video. So if you like what you saw and you want to see more, subscribe down below or you can follow me on any of my socials. I give you guys a little sneak peek of what I'm working on each week. If you have a project you want to see me try, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching you guys.